all right uh, so far we have modified the uh, title the subtitle and the labels and the range of the axis using the plot function now in this session what we are going to do is we'll use the another function called title and uh, using this function we'll modify the same set of graphical parameters uh, the only change that you can't do with this function is that of the range of the axis we'll have to still stick to the plot function for that but we'll try to change the rest of the parameters in this function the first step you have to do is you have to still create the basic plot and for that you have to use the plot function so let us do that we'll use the plot function and we are sticking to the same data set empty cars and we'll create the same graph that of displacement and uh, miles per gallon now once you do this you can see that this creates a plot which doesn't have any title or subtitle and it has the default uh, labels for the x and y axis now the next step is to use the title function and now we'll modify the title and the subtitle and the tables of the axis you can use the same set of arguments that we use in the plot function so we'll use main for adding a title so let us stick to the same title displacement versus miles per gallon the subtitle again we'll use the same arguments sub and uh, we we'll stick to the same subtitle as well displacement and miles per gallon are inversely related right and finally we will modify the labels of the x and y axis you can use the same set of argument x lab for the label of the x axis and y lab for the label of the y axis all right so let us run this part of the code and see what happens let me enlarge this plot okay so here you have the title displacement versus miles per gallon you have the subtitle displacement and miles per gallon are investigated the only problem that you see here is that the labels that we specified has overwritten the earlier default labels right so it it looks very uh, odd it's not very legible right so what we'll do is in the next session we'll learn how to remove the default labels and ensure only that the labels that we specify appear on the plot